Prior to CallExpress version 8.0, if you wanted to have what we would call simple unified messaging, um, I want to send an email um, with a voice message attached to say my email client, I would have to create an SMS profile in order to uh, to send that message. Well, a conflict kind of arises because what if I have SMS text messaging that I want to be able to do, but I also want to have simple unified messaging as well. And in Call Express 8.0, we split that into two different features, simple unified messaging and SMS notification. However, they're both set up from the same location under SMS SMTP tab in the system configuration. And I have two different profiles set up here, one for simple UM and one for an SMS example. And I've declared that my simple UM, um, this one here, is going to be my default for providing simple unified messaging. And all that, all this really is, is just some credentials to an email account where Call Express can send messages. Well, unfortunately, when you do that, you'll get something like a message template here, default simple um message.xml. And if you don't change this template, you're going to get an email that looks something like this. Here I've sent myself a test message. Um, and we have please call a bunch of x's and your web server name dot uh, wpm. This is the default message template. So in order to, once you've set up simple unified messaging or even SMS text messaging, you have to consider a template um, or editing a template so that it looks more appropriate to your organization. Now to do that, we're going to have to go onto the Call Express server. And of course, you can copy this file and edit it on any machine that you want, but it has to be in a specific location on the Call Express server. Under the CX directory, there is a folder called Phrase Templates. And you can see this is where I have all my default templates. So, for the one that I was using before called default simple um message.xml, I can simply copy this and paste it. And then, of course, rename it. And I'll just call it my simple um message.xml. And I'm going to edit this in Notepad. And what I'm looking for, this looks pretty confusing up here, but XML is, is very similar to HTML. I mean, you just have a tag and then an ending tag. So you'll see up here, phrase collection. And then down here, the closing tag. Well, all we're interested in here is um, the section here that says message body. And this is what the template that's used to create the message that we just saw. So what I can do here is modify this so it's more appropriate. And remember, when you're editing a file in WordPad or Notepad like this, syntax is very important. You're going to have to make sure that you keep the closed tags and the quotes um, in their proper order. So, to listen to your message over the telephone, browse to, well, I can say, mycompany.com, web phone manager, whatever. And then save. Now, back on my Call Express system, I can drop down and pick this as my default message template and I have a spot in my mailbox under the email tab where I can do that as well. Let's leave a test message and now see what our email looks like. Okay, I've left the test message and we can see what our new message looks like here. We have the text that I put into my template displayed as the email message.